Among the low fall, Mother Earth spirit. Henry Reelbird is one of the elders of the Crow tribe, a well-known poet and storyteller. Like that, with some of the stories that I was talking about were, were told by uh, a blind man, gentleman on the reservation back in the in the 60s. And so I was able to, I was fortunate to be able to hear his stories. And so First Voices actually is a project we started during right in the middle of COVID. Preeti Vasudevan is founder of First Voices. If the elders are dying, the stories are dying. Where's the, uh, what is, what are the young people holding on to? That was the impetus for forming First Voices, to keep the stories passed on through oral traditions to tribal elders and knowledge keepers alive in their first language. It's harder to find than you can imagine. Many of them are second language speakers, very few who are first language speakers. But the students do much more than just record interviews. They then bring the stories alive through performance art. So to me, it was a good way to have the outlet with our art. Um, yeah. They get this deep dive with all these professional teaching artists into different artistic disciplines and they get to find their way to tell the story. You know, we don't come to them and say, here's what you're going to tell. Um, and then also, the finished stories become an educational resource. But to be able to, uh, to tell the stories and the rhythms that, that are in the stories and, and, and to be able to, uh, to pass them on like old times. Those involved with the project say it serves a number of purposes. One, of course, is keeping these tribal stories from the past alive. Another is the experience the students involved gain for their own futures. So it builds leadership, team building, confidence, it heals trauma, and also helps build skill sets like, you know, I can make a film, you know, I can now record, I can be an artist. In Billings, Russ Riesinger, MTN News.